So what is your diagnosis after looking at the X-ray? Come on, guys. Enough of description. Now, now look at it. Quickly summarize positive findings and tell me. So it's a wide zone of transition. There is a uh, obliteration of the entire left shoulder girdle and shoulder joint with uh, soft tissue involvement with cortical okay. bridge. Most likely sensitive of a malignant host sarcoma, sir. Yeah, to me this looks like uh, probably this this looks like a recurrent tumor to me. The arm is amputated. I don't know. It is not very clear. To me, it looks like a recurrent sarcoma where arm is amputated and there is an overgrowth. I cannot see arm. Can you guys see anything in this? So anyway, so diagnosis. So here what I see is uh, there is a large, uh, you know, sclerotic mass arising from the shoulder region. I am not able to see. I am able to see the chest wall and the middle end of the clavicle but i'm not able to see the arm likely it is amputated and there's a recurrent tumor mass growing there the uh, in this situation when there is no bone we don't know but it is diffusely infiltrating into the chest wall and into the shoulder uh, clavicular region so uh, the matrix is ossified what you see here is all white 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 matrix so ossified matrix, zone of transition, I'm not able to, will be able to tell you because I don't see which bone. So most likely this is a aggressive tumor, which is, which is the most aggressive tumor with sclerosis and uh, ossified matrix. Osteosarcoma. Which bone is it arising from? Any investigation to... So see, sometimes, I don't know, the examiner, how they are put, but to me, this looks like from the shoulder girdle only. So you can write shoulder girdle. The humerus is not seen here. So likely this is, or probably if it is not a proper picture, you write shoulder girdle likely from proximal humerus, but we are not able to see unless there is a problem in the poor quality imaging where it is not showing. Uh, otherwise, my first answer here would be probably a scapular mass, 